Hi crafty friends, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. I am back with another video. Today's video is for my card making friends. I thought it would be fun to do a card sketch type video. Um, I do want to start off by saying thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm just going to quickly throw out some names of some of my new subscribers and those who have commented on my videos. Thank you to Nancy Long, Joan, Sharon, Sue, Tracy Wolf, Deborah, and Phyllis J73. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my crafty adventure. Let's get started. Today's sketch is actually um, a sketch that I found online. So the credit for the sketch outline that we're using today, which I will uh, post a picture right here so you can do a screenshot. Um, it is by Sunday Sketches. It is uh, their sketch SS023 and the website is Stamps to Die For. So go ahead and take a screenshot if you want to play along. Um, I am just going to be using some dollar store paper. Guys, we all have lots and lots of paper hanging around that we bought because we thought it was pretty and we're not using it. Let's go ahead and pull those out and use them today. I have pulled out some papers from my dollar store package here. Um, these are just super, super thin scrapbook um, pages. They're they're not thick or anything. They're literally photocopy weight. So um, yeah, so they should work out fairly well to not add too, too much bulk to our cards. So as part of the sketch there, we can see um, we have our um, layout. Now uh, they have given us some measurements to work off of. Um, I'm just going to be really loose with this. I'm not going to worry about um, the measurements so much just as just kind of getting the outline right and what I need to do is I have to actually pull the sketch up on my computer there we go just so I can see it um, so that I can follow along here okay so it is going to be for a standard a2 size card um, it is uh, let's see here four and a quarter by five and a half inches is what I'm going to be doing. The sizes that are on the sketch itself are going to be a little bit different, but again, it's going to be kind of the basis of our card. And I've just die cut out the little square image. I have some bling. Um, I just pulled out a random um, stamps here. This is a, a stamping upset that my good friend Rosanna just gave to me, and it's called Organic Grace. Use whatever stamps you guys have. Um, you don't have to purchase anything special. Just go ahead and pull out stamps that um, you know you've purchased and you haven't used in a while. Um, and I think I'm going to use this little floral stamp maybe for this card. Um, and then I'm going to be using uh, a sentiment from the Alton New A Beautiful Day um, stamp set here. And I'm going to be using, I think, Sending Hugs and Happy Thoughts. So yeah, let's get started. So to start off with, we need to have kind of um, the main background rectangle image. And for that, I thought we would use, um, I have this big, hopefully this kind of fits in frame. I'm not sure if you can see that guys, but um, I just thought I would use actually some of um, this polka dot in the background, or it might be fun to kind of use maybe a piece here. So let's cut this down. I just have to grab my trimmer. I forgot to grab my trimmer. Just grab that from my little rack where I have it hanging. And so if our card is five and a half by four and a quarter, I want to go five and a quarter. Uh, just trim this down. I do want a white border around the edge. So let's do five and a quarter. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to throw my paper to the side. Five and a quarter by four. All right. Oh, I did that the wrong, kind of measured that wrong, but that's okay. We'll cut that down. We can still have it, I think, like that. I think that would be fun. Um, let's see. Or do we want that kind of at the bottom? Maybe at the 
bottom. Sorry, I'm thinking as I go here just because that rectangle might be too big, or that rectangle, that square might be too big. I might have to cut that down. In fact, I know I have to. So I'm going to pull out a smaller one. And this, I don't know where I got these from, to tell you the truth. I think I just got these from Amazon. These ones. I don't think they're... They might be Lawn Fawn too. I just kind of stuck them in my little bag here. Back in the time where I wasn't... Oops, this is what I want. Back in the time where I wasn't saving my packaging um, to know what I had, so that was kind of bad, but that's all right. All right, so I'm going to quickly grab some white cardstock. Um, I've just got a, a piece here that, I guess that's a card base. Let's grab out, sorry guys, I should have been a little more organized here. There we go. So I have just a piece of white cardstock here. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is still trying to wake up. And we will die cut the smaller one. I'm using my Gemini Junior. So I'll just throw this down. And then we'll run it through. Way. Oh, I'm still trying to wake up, guys. <laughs> I wanted to get in my craft room early today because I do want to go for a walk. It's going to be nice out, and I want to take advantage of that. So just run that through my Gemini Junior. I absolutely love my Gemini Junior. It is so quick and handy, and let's put that back. Yeah, if you are looking for something to put on your Christmas list, definitely do that. Um, highly recommend it. Okay, put that back in the drawer. All right, so we've got our card base. So we need, this is kind of our first rectangle. And then we need another rectangle piece down here. Let's. Actually, let's go ahead and adhere that down right away. I'm just going to grab a piece of book page that I use for glue pages for when I'm making journals. Let's put that over there. And I'm just going to glue this down with my Uhu glue stick. Nothing fancy. Um, I don't want to use anything too liquid. You can use a tape runner um, because this is such thin copy like paper. If I use a... Um, liquid glue it's going to bubble and wrinkle up and not look so good so I'm just going to use my Uhu stick again use whatever adhesive you like best um, the snail runners or tape runners work well if you want to use that but this will work just as well okay and let's have this go here Try and get it somewhat centered. All right, so yeah, these, uh, I want to do a couple of these card sketch videos just because we need to get our juices flowing, especially with Christmas coming up. We have to make a whole bunch of Christmas cards. So you can use this with whatever style of card you want. Um, I just thought this would be fun to start off with. You can use Christmas papers, make it into a birthday card, whatever you like. Okay, so for our next little bit, which is the um, kind of rectangle piece that goes along here, let's use this paper. So that stretches. So what do we have here? We also need another actually smaller rectangle before I put that on. So let's use... Um, what are we doing here? So yeah, I need another one, which is about four inches by five and a quarter, but we've already done that. So we need one smaller. What do we want to use for that? Do we want to use the loud paper? 
Hmm. Decisions, decisions of which paper to use now. Okay. Let's actually use the big polka dot. Okay. So if this was five and a quarter by four, let's bring back our trimmer. And let's do this at, this has to be a bit smaller. So that was five and a quarter, so we're gonna go five this time. So take it about a quarter of an inch off. So let's go five. Last one was, we did four. So then we're gonna do three and three quarters. Let's try that. Okay. So I hope everyone's doing well. That you're having a good day. So those are pretty similar, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Or do we want to use something really contrasting? Sorry guys, I'm thinking as I'm going and I probably should have thought it through a little bit more. Just kind of looking at my papers here that I have from that paper pad. What could we do? Um, hmm. I wanted to stay with a pink theme. Let's try. Hmm. Let's try maybe pulling this one in. Or do we like that one? Let's try this one. This is kind of what you got to do. You got to play around with your papers. If you don't like, like one layout, change it. It's just paper. You can always use it. So that we said was going to be, um, last time we did five and a quarter. So we're going to do five. Whoops. My little blade came out. That's not good. Okay, line that up again. Go five. What am I doing here, you guys? Yeah, five. By, what did I say? Four and three quarters? Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. It's gonna be too wide. Yes, what am I thinking here? Math is not my strong suit, you guys. I always say that I'm too pretty to do math. So we want to do three and three quarters. That's what we want. Yes, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's try that. Be a bit of an eclectic card. That's okay. Let's bring back in our blue page or blue page, glue page. Oh my goodness! I think I need some more coffee. I don't think uh, early morning crafting. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's not quite awake for that yet. So there we go. I'll just glue this over top just to give it some different layers. Try and. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not really loving this edge. Let's see. Do I have scissors? Let me just kind of clean that up just a wee bit. Looks like my trimmer tore it a little bit more than cutting it. So just taking off just a smidge, just to clean that up. There we go. And then we will layer this one down. Again, our goal is to use up those scrapbooking pages that we've been hoarding, guys. That's, that's the goal. I know they're pretty, but we need to use them because our husbands <laughs> don't want to be left with all this paper should something, God forbid, happen to us, right? 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine like, you know, well, of course I don't want to imagine passing away, but I can imagine having something happen to me and then it being left for my husband to deal with, with all of my craft supplies. Oh, the poor man. It would not be good. Okay, so let's use, I want to use some of this paper for that next rectangle bit. And it's going to be the size of our bigger rectangle, which I probably should have wrote that down, which was what? I did five and a quarter, so I think it's five. I'll cut this down at five. Actually, I think I should have done that five and a quarter. That's okay. We'll use the other piece. Five, let's do five and a quarter. No, five and a half, yeah, five and a quarter. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm on the struggle bus. Okay, so this is turning out to a bit of a mayhem video, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, and then we're going to do, let's do, uh, is two inches gonna be good? Yeah, let's do a two inch. Mm. Let's try two and a quarter. We can always trim some off if it's too big. Let's try this. Okay, now bring back our card. Let's see how this looks. Of course I cut it too wide. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, what is wrong with me? I got to do it on the short side. That's okay, we'll trim it down. Do I want it this way? Because we want it to go all the way across. So I'm just going to use my pencil. This is probably the easier way to do it. Just trim off there. Yep, that's what we'll do. We will do pencil measuring. <laughs> do you guys struggle with math? I mean, now I realize as an adult that math is important for crafting. As a kid, I was like, meh, don't need it. <laughs> Don't need to know it. And now here I am struggling with measurements and probably could have done with paying attention in math. All right, so let's lay that down. Just use our glue stick again. There we go. Make sure I get all the way to the edges so they, they don't lift up on us. I want it this way. Let's do it this way. So we'll kind of come up about, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And line it up to the outside edge of that first rectangle we cut. And get it as straight as possible. Lay that down. There. It's looking cute. And then we have that other little strip here. And I thought for that, I would add some bling, just for texture and interest and just to kind of keep it exciting. I put the lid on my glue stick so it doesn't dry out. So yeah, let's try. Let's go to here. That down. I think I just got this stuff at the dollar store. I like the dollar store for craft supplies. Right? And let's do three little rows. There we go. And to adhere this to my card, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Alright, move that aside. And I'm just going to, there's these little bits here, I just want to trim off just to clean up the edges. There we go. And then we can adhere that down. Let's trim this up too. See, I think we're, as a family, we're going to go for a walk today just up to the the local Tim Hortons and maybe grab a hot chocolate and a donut. I think 
that would be good. Some motivation to get us out of the house and a little treat at the end of it. Okay, so these kind of have little divots in the back. So I want to get the glue in those little kind of wells. And I want to make sure that it sticks down well. There we go. Yeah, we're really lucky we have um, a beautiful provincial park really close to us called Fish Creek Park. And Fish Creek Park um, here in Calgary, it's actually quite massive. It's, it spans across many, many different communities. Um, so um, we, it's nice to go walking down in there. The only problem is the entrance that's to the park that's closest to us, it's called Marshall Springs. It, um, oh, I need my tweezers. Um, it uh, has like this huge steep hill going down into the park, which isn't so bad going into the park. Oh, I got glue everywhere. But coming back out of the park, um, it's tricky. I really struggle to make it up the hill, especially with my knees. So I don't think we'll be going down into the park today. You definitely don't want to go down there when it's slippery, when there's snow and ice on the hill, because trying to get back up is tough enough on dry land, let alone working with the, the ice against you. Okay, so that glue will dry clear, so anything that's kind of squishing out um, will dry clear, not a problem. Okay, so we've got that. So we've got our two different rectangle pieces. We've got our um, rectangle piece going this way, and then for the next little rectangle piece, I had the bling. And now we're gonna work on our square element. And so that is going to go kind of about here. And so I'm gonna to have to use some foam tape, or foam, foam tape, foam squares. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Some foam squares for that. So I've got a little bit of, just a little bit of warping happening with my card here. That's okay. All right, and I thought, let's move this aside to dry. And let's bring in, um, do I need this? I want, what stamp did I want to use? I wanted to use, I've got a mess going on, you guys. Um, let's use these Stampin' Up again. It's called Organic Grace. And look at this. These are like brand new stamps. I don't think she ever used them. They're gorgeous. Okay, and for, for the colors, what do we have? I have some picked raspberry, and then I brought some Victorian velvet. And I think what I want to do is kind of ink up the edges of this in some Victorian velvet, just to kind of make it a little more cohesive with the pink look. So let's stamp with pink raspberry. It's a brand new stamp, so it might need some conditioning. So I'll ink it up, and then I'm just going to stamp it off here just to see kind of what impression we get. Well, that's cute. Okay. So we'll ink it up again. Make it nice and juicy so we get a good image. Oh, I need to do a little bit of forward thought here. So we want to get our sentiment out. And if we have our sentiment here, maybe that's what I'll do. I need to stamp my sentiment down first just to make sure I get everything where I want it to be. See, I don't always think things through. I try, but let's put this down about here. And then that should leave enough room for our little flower. Okay, I'm gonna grab my sentiment ink. And my favorite sentiment ink that I like to use is my VersaFine Claire Nocturne. It always gives me a great impression 
I rarely have to stamp twice. Um, and if I do have to stamp twice, it's mainly because it's a brand new stamp. Um, it's not a function of the ink itself. I don't know what I have going on here. There's something stuck. So just use my eraser and try and get the eraser bits off. There we go. Okay. There we go. And then remember with your sentiments, don't use um, CPR pressure, just a nice light pressure and count to about five. That'll give time for the ink to soak into that cardstock. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect stamped sentiment, first time. So I'm just gonna clean this off right away. Try and be a good stamp mom and make sure I keep things tidy and safe and put that back in there so I don't lose it. There's nothing more frustrating than after crafting and you realize you somehow lost a sentiment or lost a piece of your stamp set. Ugh. Okay. And just for safety's sake, add a little bit more ink to this. And then we'll stamp it down. Okay, cross your fingers for me. I usually like to use my stamp platform. Count to five. There we go, super cute. All right, I'm gonna grab my little foam pieces. So I just got this little case at the dollar store. It's, I don't know, it was in the little storage container section, but it works perfectly to hold my little sponges. So I am going to grab my pink one. It matters which one I use. And then grab my little inking tool. And we'll just get some ink on here. And then I'm just going to just add a little bit of pink to the edges just to give it some interest. Just so it's not so stark against the background. Okay, put that aside, bring back our card, and we'll grab our foam pieces. Some little foam squares. And we'll add those to the back. Just to give it a bit of dimension because we've got those um, little bling pieces there that are raised up so we kind of have to raise this panel up a bit. And let's see, Could that be enough? Yeah, I think that will be enough of the little foam pieces. So I'm going to add a little bit of art glitter glue just to the back of these foam foam um, adhesive bits just in case. I just like to have, you know, sometimes these don't stick as well as we want them to. So let's go ahead and add a little dollop and also give us a little bit of insurance that it's not going to come off. Just gonna put my pin back in. You know, that's one of the things about art glitter glue. You gotta get that pin back in right away or it gums up on you. Okay. And then we adhere that down. Voila, now I see I have a little bit of ink smearing. I don't think it's too bad. I guess it kind of adds to the whole handmade 
version of this, right? So there we go. We have our fun card made from our card sketch. I'm just gonna pull this back down that sometimes the um, the glue stick will make the, the card just warp a tiny bit, but it should be fine. Oh, I've got some lifting here. I'll use my art glitter glue just to kind of seal down that edge since it was lifting up on me. All right, so that finishes off our quick card sketch card for today. I think that looks super cute. And then, of course, you can write on the inside to the recipient. All right, so thanks so much for joining me for another quick card tutorial. I hope you guys have a great day. And hey, P.S., I love you. Hey guys, I would love to do a snail mail swap with you. So go ahead, check out my address there. Send me some of your creations. I'd love to feature them on my YouTube channel. And I'd love to send you a little something back. Let's spread the crafty love with each other. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Even better, send me a comment. I'd love to know what you have to say. Thanks again, guys. And P.S. I love you.